Welcome back friends. Talking about differentiation further, I will be referring to few more elements of differentiation with you know short caselet or example to elaborate upon those. And here again I would try to emphasize upon these elements with reference to the preceding discussions we have had, the terms we have studied and so on. And I want you to remember at this particular stage when we are talking of differentiation, we are referring to it with ref, you know with the perspective of differentiation being a product management tool although tool is a you know smaller word in terms of you know uh, the the uh, you know vast uh, aspect related to differentiation of products uh, and and i would like you to think of uh, differentiation as a strategy also because you see if somehow you keep on following a particular kind of a product development by other manufacturers the residual customers who would not pursue that product or, or purchase that product because of price considerations or something else would be coming to you but they would not be your loyal customers and then your product would not be you know a brand in due course of time you would find several imitations in the market you will find pens which would look exactly like parker you would find uh, you know uh, kind of uh, other products detergents which would look like you know uh, other detergents available so but and, and i'm not saying that they would be lesser products or they would not perform well and they would not be you know uh, kind of dependable but again the point is that the brand element which means that customer would stay with you more customers would come to you with reference to you know branding in mind would not be there and they would keep on deflecting and the elements in differentiation they have one more purpose which is related to dependability the more dependent is the customer on uh, your product the more loyal he may become in due course of time and i'm not talking of compulsive dependability i'm talking of willful dependability you know how willingly the customer is dependable that means customer is handing over his belief and trust to you in due course of time so let's go ahead with you know brief uh, discussion on some uh, other important elements like style now this is again a very important thing for example and one of my favorite uh, favorites is you know uh, eye glasses or sunglasses and especially sunglasses you know ray ban they have capitalized upon you know this this style perspective for a very long time i remember uh, you know uh, these these reflector uh, glasses used by uh, you know air force pilots uh, they they became a per, you know they became so so uh, you know attractive for consumers in due course of time wherein ray ban projected them and and i remember a hollywood star wearing those reflector glasses in one of the famous movies probably uh, you know mr silvester stallone was there who who actually you know uh, was wearing those glasses one of the movies so so you see and and several posters they came in and uh, you see ray ban rose to heights in terms of putting up a styling element to as far as uh, eye glasses goes and and you see that that actually gives you a particular kind of a look when we, you wear those glasses and and all of us know that that is the uh, that is related to product uh, protection from sunlight or uh, ultraviolet rays and so on but but style matters most so that is the importance of style wherein in a product you know what should matter more for you is is the actually you know uh, the the characteristic or the protection uh, protection capability of uh, the glass but here style matters most so you see style describes the product's look and feel to the buyer and creates distinctiveness that is hard to copy that is another more important element wherein either you eliminate it very sharply which we will be talking about in the product life cycle kind of thing basically when we will discuss that in, in subsequent discussions uh, you know so so that by the time people start imitating your product you have already taken it away and and uh, i have already uh, referred to you know uh, this term uh, product exit 
uh, slash abandonment kind of. So, that that we have talked about earlier also. But if you want that product to stay and if customer is actually liking that product and, and uh, you, you are happy about it, customer is also happy about it, number of customers are growing, then definitely you, you want that product not to be imitated so easily, especially in terms of style. Car buyers pay a premium for you know Jaguar for example, because of their extraordinary looks which, which they uh, do and automotives and these kind of product style is more visible. It appears you know the shape, the, the you know kind of uh, aesthetics, the looks, the headlamps, the, the, the tail lights and we have talked about these kind of examples earlier as well. So, and you see aesthetics play a key role for such brands for example, Apple computers and Harley Davidson motorcycles you know kind of an, uh, a very uh, renowned and a very uh, important example in the field of marketing. You see almost every marketing book you would go through in this world including product and brand management you would find Harley Davidson there you know. So, that is the kind of level they have created in terms of you know their brand, their product management and so on that they are you know talk of the subject I should say. There is a term talk of the town, so, so there is a term called talk of the subject actually and there, there are many common examples which, which definitely you know you would find almost in, in uh, every sort of discussion. And few more examples can be Mobla, pens, swatch in watches and it is a very important example basically. Several kinds of you know and I would be uh, talking about swatch in subsequent discussions as well when I would be referring to positioning. But, but you see swatch changed the way people looked at watches more or less, more or less and, and uh, uh, I should not be forgetting Titan, Titan has gone a far, far way in terms of as far as their styling goes, thin Titan or you know elegant Titan or Titan as jewelry and Titan and HMT watches one of uh, you know that was one of my favorite examples uh, although we do not find those anymore. But, uh, HMT was a wonderful product you know and, and they were way ahead of their times. They were one of the finest sold products in the world. I, I remember in uh, mid 60s to mid, seven, uh, mid 70s you know 1971 to 1979 or those that era and even in 80s when uh, mid 60s and 70s people used to go abroad and they used to uh, talk about you know best watches in the world HMT was one of those. Rolex we all know and there are several others several Cartier and so on. So, you see strong style does not always mean high performance however, a car may look sensational, attractive but spend a lot of time in the repair shop uh, and that does not happen nowadays very commonly because you see uh, uh, kind of technology has taken these things you know on, on a way different kind of a trajectory wherein low maintenance vehicles have come in in due course of time and, and uh, now we are entering into an era of uh, electric vehicles where maintenance would be lesser and lesser in due course of time and that is a welcome change which this world is going through. So, so uh, you see just to you know give a parity in you know how it happens that style matters with other elements of dependability which we have talked about you know lesser repairability and, and uh, uh, or easy repairability for that matter and reliability and durability and, and so on. Design you can talk about design and designing for length you know you have a full two years program called masters of design nowadays. So, so and, and IIT Roorkee has that program uh, running with department of design. So, so you see uh, and, and several other institutions are doing very good in such programs and then their bachelor's program four years bachelor's program in, in design. So, design has you know a, a very big span when, when you uh, when you talk about. So, and, and design is such an integrated element of uh, you know uh, product and product management, uh, nothing can be talked about product management without this perspective, design and innovation and there is another in interesting program masters of innovation management running uh, here at IIT Roorkee in department of design. So, so uh, that is also a very interesting program. You see why I am mentioning this because Today we are actually looking at design and innovation as science with applicability with the perspective 
that it is an you know imbibed or imbued or infused part of product management and branding later on. Design can be you know can can shift consumer perceptions to make brand experiences more rewarding. Simple if we talk of chairs for example. Now you see chair design matters a lot. And many a times you know when I, I talk to my uh, students here at IIT Roorkee and uh, you know I uh, when I when I find them comfortable uh, very comfortable sitting in front of me. So, I ask them you know uh, you are feeling comfortable so they say yes yes we are we are very comfortable. Uh, sometimes you know it it uh, it is a fallacy to me that they are feeling comfortable because I am speaking well to them but but again they tell me that chairs are very comfortable actually they, they they want to sit there for long long time actually and so that is that is you know thanks to the institute which has uh, put up so comfortable chairs for students here so so the point is that this simple element which makes you sit for a longer time in a chair you would not notice that but that would increase your efficiency sleep well mattresses they actually projected the comfort of a mattress for you to wake up fresh in the morning. You see, look at the relationship wherein design is one of the most important elements of that mattress wherein they say that it adapts to the shape your back and your body has. And that is you see and, and lots of research and development and production capability has gone into producing that uh, mattress and I have talked about pillows in the introductory part of uh, this course. So, you see these are these are the aspects which were not so much noticed you see earlier earlier days we had cotton mattresses cotton pillows although those were very comfortable and there uh, you see uh, a long drawn scientific knowledge went into production of those kind of things. But when we went for producing these things for industrial scales simple headphones you see when people started frequently noticing. Uh, that they are wearing headphones for a longer time and their ears are aching because of you know long lengthy usage of headphones. Then companies like Apple, Samsung and several other companies they started coming up with different kinds of adaptive shapes in the headphones which can fit in well into your ears and plug your ears like as they are part of your ears actually. And then you see the larger headphones which, which people love to carry on in their necks and then they just fit in there and they just enjoy the sound as if they you know they are listening to the singer in front of them that is where designing comes in. And small thing like headphone, small thing like wherein you know a tooth cap is there which is fitted in mouth or when, when you know it, uh, one of the uh, uh, teeth is capped small things like you know uh, kind of a mobile cover which has aesthetics and design perspective and larger things like automotives. So, you see one design engineer noted once that if we do our jobs people do not realize what we have done they just say they feel more comfortable and that is where chairs and those kind of things and airlines you know aircraft seats and those kind of things they come in cinema hall seats and car seats and I, I, I remember one thing I was, I was sitting in uh, I, I should name it I should comment that I was sitting in uh, this model called Nissan Sunny. Now, the back seat of this car is very comfortable you see I, I that might be a, my personal experience but I told the owner you see that that uh, this the back seat is so you know comfortable that you can go for longer drives sitting in this car and then uh, I do not know how many people would have noticed that but this car designers they have actually focused well on how people sit you know uh, in the in the back seats other manufacturers are also trying for that and they are doing that and many other cars they have uh, wonderful back seats but i am specifically mentioning this so uh, that is why this this statement is quite right and even some countries you know they have developed strong reputation for their design skills and accomplishments you know they are known for that uh, you know for example, Italy for apparels, furniture, automotive designing, product designing at large you know there are several design studios there and uh, you know Scandinavian countries you know wherein product design for functionality, aesthetics and environmental consciousness is, is, is there and again wonderful design studios are working there as well. 
India has come a long, long way now. And, and you see, uh, there are specific pockets in India, but it is spreading very fast. You have excellent designers and design studios and people who are working day in, day out with lots of scientific acumen producing wonderful products. And India in due course of time has started producing, uh, you know, excellent products, uh, you know, developed and designed here. For example, Breza is completely designed in India by Maruti Suzuki. Now, I definitely should commend the team of Breza. Uh, who has worked for you know that that kind of a development? Now you see Nokia in Finland was was the was one of the first to introduce user changeable covers for cell phones, and and uh, you know the first to have ellipt elliptical shape, soft and friendly forms, and the first with the big screens and uh, you know contributing to uh, a remarkable ascent and so on. Now let's go to the other element. Uh, but in the meanwhile, uh, let us talk of this simple case study and example. Designing an aeroplane is a very, very tough deal. And I would not go into the specific details of the magnitude and the effort which is required for such kind of a thing. But just to give you a glimpse, just go to the website of Boeing and Airbus and uh, you know, watch the movies which have been produced by National Geographic and you know other uh, producers on them. Uh, go to YouTube, watch the magnitude of the workshops they have, the plant size they have, because because you see you should have a big big space when you are uh, you're producing manufacturing uh, an aeroplane. And starting from the strength of the aeroplane. It is a machine which would fly at a high speed in air, wherein lots of you know resistance would be there and, and so much of science is involved which has been developed in due course of time and safety of passengers matters a more uh, you know matters a lot here. It matters most because slightest of a fault will malign the image of the airlines and the producer themselves. So, you see just go into that and try and find out you know how many engineers, experts and you know science and you know designing uh, experts and several kinds of people are associated with such kind of manufacturing. So, you see just, just taking an example from Boeing, consider the lens Boeing went to in making its 777 airplane to make it seem roomier and more comfortable. See when passengers they enter, they should feel there is a lots of space for them. There is always a space constraint and, and uh, you know that you know we have been all of us have been flying. So, you see they raised center bins, side luggage bins, divider panels, gently arched ceilings and raised seats make the aircraft interior seem bigger. Trust me, some of you or many of you know that if you go on a long haul flight from uh, you know for example, New Delhi to New York or further you know to, to a further destination, you would like everything to be comfortable. It is not just the service or the timing which would matter to you at that particular stage because you would be spending you know uh, let us say 15, 16, 17 hours continuously in the aircraft. So, however friendly and comfortable the crew is, you still have to have that kind of a comfort wherein you can sit continuously for you know those many hours and, and every single bit of imagination and perspective to generate that kind of a confidence in the flyer, you know, in the, in the, in the passenger, passenger's mind that they would go from this place to that place, you know, nicely is, is an important element. One more thing, because you cannot, you know, imagine that there would be a specific age group who would be flying. So, in, in an aircraft you would be finding almost all the age groups flying starting from infants to you know elders 
and you have one kinds of seats so that is the importance of interior designing of aircraft so it's a cumulative experience which you have to generate along with lots of comfort and lots of sense of aesthetics associated with that so boeing 777 has claimed to be more efficient than many competitors you know or or competitive models they might have within their uh, production and, and with other competitors also and, and every competition, competition tries to do that and Airbus also has several models which they claim they are you know best as against to the competition. So in terms of you know what, what they said about this particular model was that you know 10 percent better fuel efficiency and uh, you know carbon emissions, CO emissions, 10 percent better operating economics so that is one thing. In technologies aspect Boeing has highly reliable systems, architecture and composite floor beams and you know uh, empennage related to as far as the aircraft goes. But the most important is in flight experience and comfort of the passenger who sits for longer longer time. So that is what they are they have been talking of and uh, I am not sure. Uh, uh, they are independently designing uh, you know the, the, those kind of things or they have uh, you know uh, design partners. I, uh, I remember IDEO which is a very very uh, you know renowned design organization they also have been working on designing the in flight experience or seats for uh, you know uh, I do not know which of the clients but, but they and, and their website can elaborate upon that. So, you can go to that website IDEO IDEO, and uh, you can find several stories there and, and uh, those little uh, snippets and stories might uh, you know emphasize the point which we are talking of at this moment. Now, there, there is a statement by you know CEO of Boeing uh, Phil Condit the former CEO sorry. So, you see he said that just a decade ago our profile looked very different and we were a company that was dependent on a very cyclical commercial aeroplane market. We were 80 percent commercial airplanes and only 20 percent defense and you know others, so other business. Fortunately, we look very different and today your company is a billion dollar a week company with a better balance portfolio mix that means they have come a far way in terms of all the elements which we have referred to up till now. Now let us go to some other aspects related to differentiation. Customization is a very important aspect. You see customized products and marketing allow firms to be highly relevant and differentiating by finding out exactly what a person wants and does not want and delivering on that. Now, customization is almost a stage which can be thought of at the beginning wherein you have a, you know a basic product and you want to differentiate it for the individual users at the end of the day. For example, you know uh, you have a burger and then you put up you know the, the uh, you know, toppings or, or let us say you know uh, other elements uh, with the choice of the customer Burger King does so and, and several other uh, you know uh, chains do so. Pizza for example, you have a fundamental basic pizza and then toppings are as per you know the customization or requirements of the customers and so on. Uh, so, these products are where you can do it very easily. But then there are several products which have to go a long process and you know manufacturing and, and then there is a raw material procurement and so on which may bring in higher price for the customer but then customer insists so you have you must have capability to do that actually. So, it can start from the very first stage when you are interacting with the customers and I would have referred to this term co-creation uh, earlier wherein you know that process starts from the earliest most stage when you start talking uh, to your customer about what kind of a customization he would want in due course of time or that can be brought in after almost the product is done and that particular customization in terms of you know the final product actually that can also be done. So, it depends upon you know what kind of extreme differentiation you want in terms of uh, 
the customers you are targeting. Online retailers such as Cust Print, Logo, Beyond, etc., allow users to upload images and create their own clothing and posters or buy merchandise created by other users. Nike allows customers to personalize and design their own shoes and clothing either online or in store at Nike ID Studios which now generates hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. And believe me, it is a wonderful experience. Uh, I am not selling Nike here, but try it out. You would find it very enduring, wherein you would be guiding them. And, and uh, you see, th this customization uh, that, that you will definitely find in several, uh, you know, discussions on co-creation. So, so uh, that is that is a part of you know uh, kind of that kind of uh, a perspective which which uh, surrounds co-creation. Archies allows you to print specialized messages on your cards and gifts. Now, one thing which I want you to uh, to be reminded of is that when I was referring to product line and production line. I mentioned the dependability of both the elements on each other. So, when we talk of customization that actually comes up as a capability because of the technological advancements and the production capabilities and capacities evolving in due course of time. So, for example, today you have you know lots of printing and publishing capability and capacities in terms of technological advancement. So, you can ask the customer to guide them. Uh, on what customization do they want in terms of their you know cards or you know the, the, those kind of things related to printing and publishing but if you did not have that kind of a capability then customization would have been on a different uh, levels so that is how you know product line and customization co creation and production line and production capability all these are related to each other and that is where product manager becomes a very important person Dell allows you to personalize laptops based on your specific requirement and budget. So, so you can you can you know guide them on the kind of you know uh, the, the palm area you require or, or I do not know, but, but uh, you know there, there are several kinds of things which uh, can be accommodated from the side of the customer depending upon again the uh, you know uh, production capability. Burberry a fashion brand allows you to select the fabric, color, style and many other features for your own personalized trench coat and so on. Uh, I uh, find that Mahindra's they have also uh, for, for quite some time now they, they have a section wherein you can go and you can put up you know your choices associated with the kind of vehicle you would require in due course of time. So, they, they give that kind of an advantage to their customers and many automotive manufacturers they have come a far way wherein you can interact with their website to come up you know uh, specific choices on the part of your uh, vehicle which you would desire for and so on. So, so all these elements they are coming together now. One thing which we have to remember at this particular stage when we are talking of these kind of elements is that all these elements they are drawing our attention towards two fundamental strategy and management. Delivery it refers to how well the product or service is brought to the customers including speed, accuracy and care throughout the process. You see today's customers they have grown to expect speed. Pizza delivered in half an hour, na 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 ri, pizza I free, eyeglasses made in 60 minutes, cars lubricated in 15 minutes. Many firms have computerized quick response systems, everything is quick that link the information systems of their suppliers, manufacturing plants, distribution centers and retailing outlets to improve the delivery. You pick up a good in the departmental store and the manufacturer gets to know that you have purchased it. So, manufacturer refurbishes the supply because they get that thing you know in real time and, and that is how well advanced the system today is actually. Ordering ease describes how easy it is for the customer to place an order with the company. You see. The, the easier it is, the more the customer is pro in purchasing from some, some platform. Amazon has come a far way, you know, aapki apni dukan. Many financial service institutions offer secure online sites to help customers get information and complete transactions more efficiently. Automotive insurance, 
uh, insurance against accidents and those kind of insurance products you see getting insured your uh, your automotive in real time within minutes is what these companies they have offered you in due course of time and today it is a hassle fee process and you see that is one of the most commendable things and that is where ordering ease uh, comes into play because that has contributed not only in the strength of their sales but enhancing their brand power as well. Online e-commerce platforms like Flipkart, Amazon as I told, Nike, Mintra, ICICI Bank, ICICI Insurance and Bajaj Allianz and SDFC Insurance and especially in terms of automotives they have, they have done a wonderful job. Uh, you know they are chosen where ordering ease is one of the major factors and so on and why should we forget about Zomato and Swiggy at this particular stage feeling hungry just go to your app order something and feel the difference. I will come back with the discussion on positioning till then goodbye.